Hello and welcome everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today we'll be playing the first episode of Surya Varman the First, uh, titled Usurpation. No particular achievement to go for, of course we're on hard mode as usual, let's go ahead and get started. Forward march! We do not stop until the sun falls beneath the tree line! I am Sangrama, honored general of the Khmer Empire, tasked with quelling a rebellion just a year after the passing of the revered Surya Varman. His successor faces staunch opposition. This chaos threatens to dismantle the empire that took nearly five decades to build. Inspiring an army of largely levy soldiery is difficult. Most are simple farmers and craftsmen, strangers to the ways of war and the grim chaos of battle. They should understand the cause for which they fight. As we trudged through the mud, I summoned the captains to the front of the line. I told them of the events that occurred before many of them were born. They would use this knowledge to inspire their men to fight. Surya Varman was once little more than a magnet with a minor claim to the throne held by another. Udiaditya Varman I had established his seat in Angkor, claiming the entire empire as his dominion. Gathering his army, Surya Varman marched on Angkor from the west, establishing a camp not far from the city. Okay, so. Our main objectives here are to storm the city of Angkor and kill Uda, Udia Ditya Varman the first. Say that five times fast. Apologize for my botched pronunciation. Surya Varman the first's army is restricted to the castle age and its population limit is 100. Wow, that's pretty low. Surya Varman the first is a powerful warrior who leads from the front lines. If his elephant is slain from beneath him, he will return to the camp to recover and will be unable to take the field again. Destroying Uriya Ditya Varman I's field camps will deprive him of his offensive potential, but you will still have to take the battle to Angkor. The city of Angkor is well fortified. Bringing some siege weapons along to help breach the citadel would be wise. Kamai elephants are very mobile, hardy, and quite effective against massed enemy forces. Your scouts report that Surya Varman I in Cyan has established a camp in the west of the map. From this foothold, it will be possible to launch attacks towards Angkor, Udiya Ditya Varman I's capital. Udiya Ditya Varman I has concentrated his forward armies in red in three military camps. Two block the western and southern routes to Angkor, while a third guards the trade route southeast of Surya Varman I's camp. These forces are composed of levied spearmen, skirmishers, and light cavalry, but may later add siege weapons to their offensive pushes. The city of Angkor, in orange, lies in the northeast of the map. Its garrison consists primarily of crossbowmen and infantry, but may also contain monks and battle elephants. So it looks like the main city is going to have um, more dangerous units there. Within the central citadel of Angkor resides Udiya Ditya Varman I, surrounded by his personal bodyguard in yellow. They will provide a last line of resistance should Angkor's defenses fail. And lastly, a neutral village in grey lies in the south of the map and is a potential trading partner should the trade route be cleared of enemy troops. Cool. Let's go ahead and get started. Look at this boy's stats. Uh, we started in the feudal age. We got a couple scouts. Let's have you auto scout. That's a nice feature. And we'll save this guy for real scouting. Let's task group our hero to group one. 
No bomb run yet, but Tom Joe, but Tom Joe, no bomb run yet. Dear Panjee, and this must be the great village that we need to clear of troops. But Tom Joe. We don't have a source of gold or stone. Oh, he actually got some right there. Never mind. We got plenty of resources, actually. Let's grab Fletching from our blacksmith. There's another gold pile there. So that looks like one of the four camps. Let's grab scale barding armor. Put these villagers on food. Do have a mill? Doesn't look like it by the appearance of things. Let's fix that. We have a mighty camp here. Pick up infantry armor. Where are our scouts go? Horse collar before we do anything else. Put you four on wood. Bye. Next villager on gold here. We should remember that we're limited to a pop cap of 100 enemy troops in this direction. No Let's actually work on clearing this trade route. Dear Anji, dear Plinky, Nyak Samson, Bar, Nyak Samson, Dream Rouge Roll, Nyak Samson. Bar. Got some free draft animals there, very nice. Found another gold pile. No bomb on you. No bomb on you. Clear out these field camps will be in really good shape here. Let's keep villager production continuing here. And actually start thinking about advancing to the castle age soon. Do we have an archery range? Does it look like it? Let's continue clearing out these four camps. Oh, that's unfortunate. We should 
should actually still be okay. Let's advance the castle age here. No need to worry about these guys. The town center should be able to take care of them. We're back to the castle age anyway. Let's grab padded archer armor. Villages over here can still work. And it looks like we've successfully cleared the way for the village as well. Let's pick up double bit axe. Our villagers should be pretty safe from that storm. No bomb run yet. Let's pick up a seven second town center here, actually. Actually, put it on this stone pile. Let's run our scouts away. Pick up heavy plow. Pick up bow saw. Let's drop another town center down here. It's too rocky apparently. That's unfortunate. Drop another one up there. Make sure to go to stone. Let's pick up Bodkin Arrow. Let's build a stable as well. That way we can start getting those battle elephants out. So Orange is trading with them. I think it would be in our best interest to control this trade route actually. So I might try to build a castle right here. There's no river crossing here. So build some houses. Pick up town watch. Grab stone mining. And are the Kamai the ones that don't need a mill? Oh, they don't need a mill. Why did I build this? <laughs> well, that was foolish of me, I guess. They can garrison in houses too, yeah. So this is nice. So being able to garrison in houses is actually a pretty cool safety measure. 
Yeah, wheelbarrow. I can just keep building farms wherever I want. Oh, that's pretty neat. I've never actually played as the Kamai before. So that's super cool. Overall, though, I still think it's a pretty good idea to build farms near town centers. Uh, reason being that you can garrison them into the town center and the town center will actually be able to shoot back. Let's grab chain barding armor and get our eco up to like 50-ish. Once we do that, we should be in a good position to attack. Do husbandry. Do a couple knights. Let's pick up a siege workshop as well. Carts, ballistics. We're out of wood, actually. Need more wood choppers. Yeah, definitely need a few more wood choppers here. You can actually go chop wood, since you don't have a farm anyway. We've cleared one camp. And honestly speaking, clearing out this camp shouldn't be too hard either. Bloodlines. Think some knights and arbalists would be good. I really like this architecture. Such a nice architecture. We're really going to lose this ram though, unfortunate. Let's get another one. Whoa, I've never seen this mini map feature, that's pretty cool. Super inclusive, actually. I like that. Let's start moving on the offensive here. We can take out the camps first. Leather Archer Armor. And I think my units of choice here are going to be Knights and uh, Knights and Archers. Yeah, 
Sang. Let's grab murder holes while we're at it. Go into masonry. Cut the frame. We do this in this order, actually. Fuck. Pick up crossbow. Start training some archers. Get another ram out. Yeah, Look at that food just going up so consistently. Holy crap. It's amazing. I think we should have waited for our archers to arrive before engaging. That castle should do a lot of damage to them. No bomb. No bomb. Just keep spamming archers out. Cool. So this northern camp should be dealt with pretty soon. Bye. Let's actually mix in a couple battle offense as well. And check out the unique tech here. We do tusk swords. Alright. So I need 200 wood for that. Let's grab it. And Angkor is right here. Now they've got a pretty scary army there. But it's not horrible. I think we can actually uh, complement our forces with some pikemen. Actually, be worrying more about our wood supply rather than our food supply here. We got lots of food. In fact, I think I'm gonna reassign all these guys to wood here. Now that our northern area is safe, let's make an assault on the southern side. Ah, 
Actually, do we even need to? I don't think we need to assault that side. We can just go north. Keep a couple of knights in here just to protect our castle from rams. And build a forward castle like right there or something like that. <laughs> this castle is just doing so much work. Having lines of archers here with knights in the front line has been super, super good for us. Let's convert one of those elephants if we can. And start moving in here with rams. No need to wander too far off the beaten path. I have so many elephants, I actually think getting pikemen in here is a good idea. Pick up arson, pick up our infantry armor. Get some pipeline involved here. Should be destroying the stables where we can. Where is that enemy monk? I don't see him. Oh, he's all the way back here. Let's 
let's upgrade the light cavalry to counter those monks. Five. We're building on yet. Keep pumping out crossbows of these guys. Ooh, we're starting to see some of his personal army come out. I'm gonna smash these walls here so we can have easier access to his castle. We're short on gold now. I think Encore just straight up has limitless resources. So we should try to take out their production buildings here. Our gold piles, our gold is running a bit low, we're spinning a bit too quickly. I just don't think we're valuing our programs lives well enough. Super annoying for Castle Age ramps to go through. He's done his job. Which one's the king? I guess he's inside the castle, huh? Go 
Gold Miner's Idol. Yep, sounds good. Let's come down like this. I think it would be good to knock out this stable here. We got two monks. Knocked a hole into their wall now. And their elite forces are starting to fall apart. It's just a matter of time now, honestly. Start beating the crap out of his castle here. He's got to come out of there sooner or later. And uh, his army seems to be hell bent on throwing itself into this castle here. Four sods. King has popped out. Now we are on the warpath. Let's get him. Nice umbrella, bro. Uh, and I don't know if you guys can see in the bottom right, but that was my first Kamai victory. Very interesting. The captains listened eagerly as I gave my account of the usurpation. Despite a numerical disadvantage, Suya Varma's tactical acumen proved critical to the success of such a risky offensive. Draws of Uriatitya Varma's troops fell to Suya Varman's disciplined infantry and elephants. Entering Angkor, Suya Varman gave the order to his disciplined army that the city was to be left intact, the civilians unharmed. He would not begin his rule by committing acts of savage tyranny upon his own people. Pretty smart, yeah. Take a look at this map. So there's a trade post all the way back here. Undoubtedly getting them gold. And this castle was effectively just destro absolutely wiping these guys out. There's no siege workshop here, I think. So there's nothing really threatening this castle at any point. I don't see... I don't recall seeing any siege workshops for them. So I don't know where they would get their siege weapons, actually. But yeah, nice linear... You know, you start on this side of the map, they start on this side of the map, build some units, push towards them, and eventually you win. Uh, good starter for a first level. Nice and easy. Got to exercise a couple of Kamai unique abilities as well. Garrisoning in the houses to save some villagers, as well as utilizing the fact that we don't need a mill, uh, a drop-off point for farmers. That's pretty cool. The trade route here ended up being pretty inconsequential for us, simply just because there was a lot of gold already present on the map, so our limiting factor was honestly more just our population space than anything else. But yeah, that was the first level of Surya Varman the first. Fun level overall. Next time I'll be playing the second one, Quelling the Rebellion. In any case, my name's been The Clever Fool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.